Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 29, and this is war number 12, the final war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Ghost Ship. Um, crazy late. I uh, almost forgot about this war. I believe we're locked into uh, Platinum 4, uh, regardless of what we do here. But uh, let's check it out. As you can see, <laughs> they've already uh, been in here. Let's see. Yep. Took out that mini. All right. So we've got uh, Sentinel and we've got Red Goblin. And we've got Guardian here. And we have Mr. Sinister. So Warlock for Mr. Sinister. Uh, we've got Iron Man Infinity War. And let's see, mini boss, they're already uh, doing these mini bosses here. So let's look at Nick Fury. Yeah, Claire could do that one. Uh, we've got Professor X up there. And we also have Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, because AQ is down right now, I was thinking of bringing in Corvus again. Corvus could get uh, a mission off of this uh, first Sentinel here. And, you know, Claire could still do this uh, fight with Guardian. Uh, Warlock could handle Mr. Sinister. And then Corvus could handle that Iron Man up there. Um, Iron Man Infinity War. And if necessary, he could also handle that Professor X. And... Yeah. Boosted up, he could also handle that Sorcerer Supreme. Okay, so yeah, we'll bring in uh, Corvus, Warlock, and Claire. And that should be enough to handle what's left here. All right, we'll be uh, right back with the fighting. All right, so last war of the season, and I brought Corvus. I miss using Corvus in Alliance War. He makes a lot of fights just quick and easy. I used to run Corvus all the time in Alliance War, but some time ago, I forget how many seasons ago, uh, they updated the Alliance Quest rewards, and as an Alliance, we decided to focus more on AQ. And that's when I started using Corvus for AQ. I only had a five-star Corvus at the time. When I got the six-star Corvus and then got him awakened, I switched over to using the six-star in Alliance Quest. However, I didn't use the five-star in Alliance War, mainly because of the defense tactics uh, I forget which one it was called, I think Protection or something like that, that basically just made using Corvus very dangerous, especially against um, someone like Sentinel, who was an um, extra-large opponent. Uh, I don't remember the details of that um, defense tactic, but that kept Corvus benched, pretty much. Uh, but they've removed that defense tactic and i had so much fun a couple of wars ago uh coming in here with corvus and it just reminded me of just how powerful he still is for alliance war you know you get a few missions under his belt and he hits like a truck and because i'm always running suicides it's perfect the more attack you have for him, the more damage he does. So it is awesome. Even the five star 
is crazy good for even fighting uh, six star rank threes, you know, but you need to get those missions so you're doing as much damage as you can. Uh, but as you can see, I'm not having any problem with uh, the fights that are remaining. Most of the um, map has already been cleared at this time. We're locked into uh, Platinum 4. So this war was a very relaxed, laid-back war. Um, that's why I decided to bring Corvus uh, to have a little fun and to remember the good times when Corvus dominated, and I had a Corvus to dominate. All right, so uh, this one, standard one. Now, I thought about going in here uh, with Corvus trying to get the uh, auto block, but changed my mind, and I said, no, uh, let's not do that. I already have the tech mission completed from that Sentinel. But I could have possibly gotten the auto block one from this one. Uh, you saw there that I just blocked. I'm not even trying. And you can see there I didn't. That is why I was just blocking. Because for some reason in Alliance War, it's just not reliable. See? So I'm just, you know, I'm like, you know what? Let me just block. It's not worth it. Um... One thing about fighting Guardian, though, is I can't reliably fire off my special 2 to gain health back. Because that's when he'll auto-block. Uh, now, I don't know. I, I don't believe he needs uh, that um, awakened ability to do that. Um, so I played it safe and just fired my special 3 when he was down low. Now, my own Guardian is a 5-star rank 5 SIG 200. And I used to place him on Alliance uh, War Defense. And I can't remember if he got any kills. can't remember if he did or not. Um, he may have gotten one, one or two kills. And, um, but my Silver Centurion got five kills in a previous war so i was very very um happy about that i can't remember if it was the previous war or this war but he got five kills uh now this matchup is made for warlock anytime i see a mr sinister and i have a warlock available i'm going in uh it's the perfect fight you get the infections up um you get you can put a bleed on him and even if he transfers the bleed over, it doesn't matter because you're immune. Uh, and once you have the infections, he can't heal. So it, it's just the perfect, perfect matchup for uh, Warlock. Unless the nodes do something uh, that prevent it from being a, a easy matchup for him. Um, but he is a great counter. Now, this is also why I decided... Um, not to go in uh, on uh, the Guardian fight with my um, Corvus because I knew that I was going to be using Corvus for this fight here. Um, we've got an Avenger here and possibly an auto block, but I don't have good luck getting auto block for this guy here. I need to fight him a certain way and I'm not used to doing that. Um, to build up his armors very, very quickly early on so that I get an auto block so that I can, you know, get that one. So I decided not to mess around with that or try that. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of boosts that are maxed out because of the compensation that uh, Kabam has been giving us. I have a bunch of those. Uh, some of them I haven't even claimed yet. Uh, and I have a lot in my overflow still. They gave us a lot. And it's already at the end of the season. So uh, I'm going to end up using those off season or just selling. Them. And I'll probably end up just selling them. All right. So fun fact. Uh, fighting Iron Man Infinity War with Corvus. Um, I've only lost once in war 
against him, and it was an aggression, um, I forget, aggression, fury, or aggression, precision, something like that, where um, even his blocked hits were doing crazy damage after a bit. Uh, didn't know how to fight him uh, at the time with that node. So really, it wasn't him, but the node beat me. Other than that, I usually beat him with Corvus. But that's going to do it for my participation in this war. You can see we still had Mini Boss Island up, but they went through and just cleared uh, Mini Boss Island. Uh, I looked away for a little bit, came back, it was all cleared. All right, so we'll be back in a moment, and you'll find out how the final war of the season ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won the war. So we finished the season with a win, but we're locked into Platinum 4, so whether we won or lost this war wouldn't have made a difference uh, in our standing. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Also, look for the uh, season rewards opening which I'll be posting after this video. So depending on when you've watched this video, that video may already be out. All right, so take care, and you all have a blessed day.